you little drumheads, this is Lucky Lehrer, and this is episode one of a series that, if viewed sequentially, will make you a better drummer. This episode's about your drum kit. What I love about the drums, there's a lot of great stuff online you can learn, and uh, I personally prefer www.drumchannel.com. You can go there and check out my episode called The Hardcore Drum Hour. This series is intended to be viewed sequentially, so go step by step and watch the various episodes. There's a lot more information on my own website, www.luckylayer.com. Okay, first, before we get started, whether you're looking to just get going or play hardcore, we've got a stretch. So let's look at some basic stretches. First stretch I do is I pull my fingers back, I stick my hand out and I stick my palm out and I stretch back like this. I keep my hand out and I turn it upside down and I stretch my hand like that. The next stretch is with a pair of sticks, so let me introduce the head stick girl, Holland. We do some stretches with the sticks like this, just to get the wrists loosened up. And now we're ready to get going. We're gonna use a couple different kits on this episode. The first kit that I'm gonna show off is a natural satin kit made by DW. What I love about this kit is that I can play this kit one night jazz and the next night I can go do a punk gig and I can play anything in between. Basically the drum set features square tom-toms. Now you're gonna start and say, Lucky, what are you talking about? The tom-toms are round. When I say square tom-toms, what I mean is that this is a 10 by 10 and this is a 14 by 14. Great for jazz, great for punk. The diameter and the depth of the drums is the same. Next thing we're gonna do is set the drum set properly. There's no way to play as well as you possibly can and if, if the kit's not set right. And the first thing we start by setting up is the drum seat. So let's look at some correct positioning and let's look at some incorrect positioning. We're never gonna get the speed, the sound, or technique we're looking for if we're not seated properly. In this example, Alex is sitting too low. His thigh is slightly raised from the kit. What I like about this is the legs of the drum seat are properly pointing so that the front leg is pointing toward the drum set, but the seat's set way too high. Alex's thigh is pointing down where it should be more level. Now we're getting a lot better. Alex's thigh is tilting down slightly but he's not too high, he's not too low, it should be comfortable, and the way we test for that, we take a drumstick, we're measuring from the top of the hip bone to the snare drum, and see how we have a straight angle. There's a straight line, it's perpendicular from the hip bone to the top of the snare drum. That's correct positioning. I write my settings down, I let my tech know, I run the same settings whether I'm playing live or if I'm in the studio. What I love about DW equipment is it's so easy to adjust and it's so versatile. I've got my drum set up in what I call a horseshoe setup, where the pedals are facing parallel to each other as opposed to a more traditional L-shaped setup. I'm using Remo drum heads exclusively. The top drum head, called the batter side, which is the side you hit, finds the note. The bottom head, called the resonant side, finds the length of the note. About tuning, there's lots of good information online. I particularly recommend you check out John Good's piece, How to Tune Your Drums for Maximum Performance. drum tips from Lucky Lehrer, make sure to check out luckylehrer.com or definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel.